Another weekend, another festival, another bunch of fights, and some knuckleheads screw everything up again. This is like the third time in two weeks that a festival in Milwaukee has been disrupted by fights and chaos and nonsense. I hate to use the word nonsense or shenanigans because it almost minimizes it. It makes it sound goofy more than that this is a real problem. So here's the latest thing that happened. It was at Greek Fest at State Fair Park. So Saturday, things are rolling along. It becomes Saturday night, and a series of fights breaks out. Results in multiple arrests. Lots of people are kicked out of the festival. And it's so bad that in conjunction with State Fair Police, Greek Fest officials decide to close early because of fights on the festival grounds. So on Saturday evening, they actually shut it down before it was supposed to close. It was scheduled to close at 11 o'clock. They close it at 9. They say, everybody out. This is a dangerous situation. And they kick everybody out. They evaluate, and then they decide, you know what? On Sunday, it's supposed to close at 8. And instead, we're going to close at 6. And we're going to shut down the midway. So no rides, and we're going to close early because of the chaos that happened last night because of the fights. At Greek Fest, they had people go through metal detectors. They had security. They had police on the grounds, and this happened. This, of course, comes in the wake of Juneteenth, which was a week ago today, where about this time, one week ago, police were on the scene after six people, I think it was, were shot at Juneteenth. A 15-year-old is now in custody. Once again, started by fights breaking out, purportedly between two groups of girls, and a shooting breaks out near MLK and Chambers. And so that festival was disrupted. That comes after police body cam footage captured fights breaking out at a Brookfield Church festival, the St. John Vianney Festival. They closed early. They rolled the midway rides away because people weren't behaving at that festival. That was the middle of June. So three events in the last little more than 10 days where fights have disrupted what has happened. Three family events. Yeah, you're right. This is embarrassing. Not only is it scary, it's embarrassing. And by the way, as we continue to talk here, I want to give you the phone number. I want you to weigh in on your reaction to all this crap happening. The Old National Bank Talk and Text Lines, 855-616-1620. 855-616-1620. Old National Bank, get old. Call us, send us a text. I would love to talk to some of you about how you're feeling, specifically if you live in the suburbs. One of these three events was in the suburbs. Check that. Two of them were. The St. John Vianney one and obviously the one at State Fair Park, both in the suburbs and then one in the heart of the city, the Juneteenth celebration. In my neighborhood, as we were talking about this, sitting around yesterday, I have people in my neighborhood who say, I'm not going anymore. And it's not just a I'm not going into the city thing anymore. This isn't about I'm boycotting Milwaukee. This is more of a I'm getting nervous to be at these sort of settings, whether it's in the city, at State Fair Park, at a Brookfield Church Festival, because that's where one of these happened. And I kind of my reaction, my initial reaction when a guy said this was, come on, we're not going to stay at home. We got to be out. He said, well, I know if I stay at home, I'm not going to have some punk trying to start a fight on my deck. So I'm good right here. Okay, I get that. Then that made me sad. Like, is that where we are? And it seems like that is where we are. I know in my neighborhood it's real. It's not hyperbole. It's people saying, I'm just not, why? I'm not going to do it anymore. And those are people observing. Now imagine if you were there with your kid in a stroller at Greek Fest and this chaos yeah. erupted. I think you only have to experience that once once to get shaken up and go, oh, I don't want to deal with that again. Well, these are people who didn't even deal with it and they're not going. Like they That's didn't what even I mean. see it yeah, firsthand. They're observing. Yeah. And they're like, I'm not going. There's one common theme in the events you mentioned. Greek Fest, State Fair does a Harvest Fest every fall, mm-hmm. which is typically a lot of fun. The St. John Vianney Fest in Brookfield, that was pretty close to where I grew up. There's no admission price. Right? You might walk through a metal detector and they may make sure nobody's got something they shouldn't be bringing in. And I applaud that. That's a good step. 
for Greek Fest. They've never had to do that before, but now feel compelled to do so. But there's also no admission fee. It's an all-comers party. Come on in, right? Just be a part of it. My sense is that if there is an admission, you'd probably have fewer and fewer incidents. You'd probably have fewer people, perhaps. But that's seemingly, to me, a common theme in some of the disturbances we have. It's just a, a collection area for you hear the word festival, you see party, you hear parade. Just open. Come on, do whatever you want. The law doesn't apply to you. And there might be metal detectors, but in these cases there weren't, with the exception of Greek fest. But still, fists become a weapon and cause people to make alternate plans and shut the doors down early. I think you raise a good point. If somebody has to pay 5 or 10 bucks and they're going just to cause chaos, they maybe don't do that. They're going to save the 5 or 10 bucks. They're not going to pay 5 or 10 bucks to go get kicked out of somewhere. But if it's free, it's a lot easier. Let's just go. Let's cause the problems. What do you think? 855-616-1620. I would love to hear from you out there. Is this impacted your behavior? Are you thinking about doing things differently? Are you thinking about not going to certain places or certain sorts of events because of what we've got going on? 855-616-1620. And I talked to somebody about this earlier today who lives in the city. So we hear all the time that, oh, well, suburban people just... This is people in the city that are also getting tired of this crap. It's like the common denominator for who doesn't want to go to things are if you're a person. Because you don't want to put yourself in harm's way or run the risk of doing that. 855-616-1620. Here's what we're going to do. While Adam uh, lines up the phone calls, and there are a lot of them coming in, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to take your calls. Join the conversation on the Old National Bank Talk and Text Line, 855-616-1620. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you up next. Greek Fest closes down early on Saturday and Sunday because of a bunch of fights that break out. They had metal detectors. They had police on the scene. And still, people got arrested. Other people got kicked out. And they shut down. I'm not ready to say I'm done going to stuff yet. I'm just not going to let that happen. But I do find myself thinking about it, especially at night. If my wife were to say she was going with girlfriends, I would think about it and have concerns. What do you think? Let's go to the phones. Let's start with Mike, who's in Lake Geneva. Mike, good afternoon. You're on WTMJ. Hey, John. Thanks for having me. Um, to say it's sad is, uh, is really the understatement. But, you know, just looking at the economics, um, you know, Milwaukee and the surrounding area, they want to bring in, you know, the sales dollars, the tax income, that sort of thing. But, you know, stuff like this is just going to drive people away. And unfortunately, it's going to be an economic, you know, downward spiral where, you know, they're not going to get that tax base if if they aren't addressing the root the root problem and holding people accountable. Are you more likely to go to an event there in Lake Geneva than you are to come up and go to one in Milwaukee? Yes. Is it just economics and convenience, or is there a safety factor in that for you? Uh, both. Mike, thanks for the phone call. We appreciate it. Tina's in Waukesha. Tina, good afternoon. You're on WTMJ. Hi, good afternoon. What do you uh, think? So we stopped, we stopped going to State Fair after 5 p.m., probably about eight years ago, when we had a fight break out in front of us. In, and we had our, our small daughter was with us. And I just, I don't feel safe there, um, especially around the midway with the fights. And as much as I think you're right about uh, an admission fee maybe would be a deterrent to some of these, I'll call them chuckleheads, um, there's an admission fee to State Fair, and that hasn't solved the problem. Um, so we're, we're careful about what we go to. And I'll be honest, I'm, I'm probably not going to let my kids who are now teenagers go to events like church festivals at night without me hey tina thank you for the phone call and thanks for listening to the show dennis is in milwaukee dennis good afternoon you're on wtmj good afternoon john there's no easy answers to this situation but um, i think a large part of the problem rests on the judiciary judiciary if there are no consequences for bad behavior you're going to have more bad behavior. 
And uh, I, I'm not advocating um, locking up these uh, perpetrators for five or 10 years, but there should be some consequences for their action. And I'm convinced right now there aren't. I think in a lot of cases, the judges just um, release these youngsters back to their parents, and there's no real consequences. Thank you for the phone call. I want to get to Todd here, who's in Brookfield. Todd, good afternoon. You're on WTMJ. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for the call. Uh, I used to go to the Greek Fest when I was on 92nd off of uh, Congress there. And uh, we used to uh, go there and have some fun and found out that uh, there was some trouble there. We never saw the trouble there, but I know that's why they moved it over the Greek Fest over to uh, uh, State Fair Park. And then it seems like the trouble just follows it over there. Um, I was at the Greek, or I'm sorry, the uh, Brookfield uh, St. John Vianney days, and uh, I know there are some fights that broke out. Uh, I'll still go. It's my parish, but uh, it was seems like it's after dark. Yep. It just seems that's where some comes along, and it's just uh, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. Hey, Todd, thank you. Uh, Mike Stavropoulos is with us. He's one of the chairmen of Greek Fest, and he is with us live on WTMJ. Hey, Mike, thanks for making some time for us. Absolutely. I appreciate you shining some light on these issues. You did all the right things. You have metal detectors. You had police there. You worked with local authorities, and still this happened. Is this just a couple knuckleheads, or is this a bigger issue than that? Um. I think it's uh, knuckleheads, which is a big issue. Um, I want to just, I want to make sure I thank um, the law enforcement. We were proactive. Um, They were just fantastic to work with. And I want to thank everybody who came out with their families to enjoy. Um, We we try to share our culture and our food with people and raise funds for our missions. And all the good people, I am known to focus on everything good. So are there knuckleheads? Yes, there are. Um, I heard you talking about charging a cover. Um, We would love to do something like that and be also very conscious of the families that will be impacted by having to pay. You bring a family of five or six, and what's that cover charge going to be? So we have a lot of thinking to do. We're going to pray about it. We're going to be grateful for the people that came out. We're grateful in every way, but definitely going to re- align things to see how we can keep everyone safe. What went into the decision, Mike, to shut down early on Saturday, and then what went into the decision to do it again on Sunday? Was that a difficult decision? It wasn't difficult. Um, It's always difficult because you don't want to impact all the things that I'm sure you know come along with it. But um, the decision was quick, and, uh, you know, we we had talked about it, and... um, made the decision because we are so grateful um, that there were no injuries and um, just so grateful. So my point is tough decision, but quick decision, not indecisive whatsoever. Um, Sunday, quite honestly, we just weren't sure what was going to happen the later it got. And we just, I, I'm a person that always talks about being proactive, not reactive. So, all of it was just being proactive. My dear knowledge, what was the first year that metal, and te- uh, metal detectors were installed at the festival? This is the first year, and it was State Fair Police and, um, and um, George Papacristu, who's our uh, head of security for our parish, um, were proactive and said, you know, this is the first year. We're going to implement this, and as you can imagine, it's also going to affect the cost of doing business next year. So, um, yeah, it was the first time ever, and they did a great job. I was so grateful that, um, that they were there. Do you envision another level of security will be required for your festival next year? I really don't. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what level. Um, we really have to sleep on it, literally still cleaning up today. Um, we're going to sleep on it and make a well-thought-out decision. We want to be thoughtful you know, about what we do and how we do it. How much was the bottom line impacted by having to close early on both Saturday and Sunday? I was definitely impacted, um, you know, percentage-wise. I, I don't even know till we do the final numbers. But more of the impact was the 
um, the good people that were impacted was the biggest frustration. The money, money comes and goes. To me, it's it's seeing families that were impacted that were there to have a good time, and um, you know how do we how do we keep them safe? That's our biggest concern, not the money. Mike, what would you say are the emotions that are at the top of the list when you think about what happened out there on Saturday night for you personally? For me personally, gratitude. Gratitude to God for keeping us safe. Mike Stavropoulos is the chairman for Greek Fest. Well, thanks for doing just that. Like you said, Mike, no one was injured, and that's the most important takeaway. Thank you. We appreciate you being with us. Thank you. We appreciate you. Have a good day. It is 527 at WTMJ. Time for the WTMJ Annex Wealth Management Market Update. The S&P off 19, the Dow off 13, the NASDAQ off 156. Annex Wealth Management, know the difference. Legend has it, Spanish conquistador Ponce de Leon searched for the legendary fountain of youth. This wellspring had the power to restore new life to